Good morning, Team McAuliffe. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make the McAuliffe School a safe and happy place for all students and staff. So we do have some birthdays to celebrate. Today it is Emma's birthday in room 208. Over in 206, it's Zachary's birthday. And then down in room 5, McKaylee celebrates her birthday too. Happy birthday to all three of you. I hope that you have great days today. Teachers, just a reminder that the Empanada Dada food truck will be between the Robinson and McAuliffe today from 1030 to 130. Stop by during lunchtime and pick up some empanadas. The flavors are up on the screen. It's five for $12. He does take cash or card. I hope that you enjoy that special treat for lunch today. Moving on to March Book Madness. We're up to our next matchup. This one is between two champions, Gaston and Not Quite Narwhal. They were two books that were very popular here at the McAuliffe in the past. Today, we're going to take a look at Gaston. Hello, my name is Angel. I'm in 12th grade. My name is Melissa, and I'm in 11th grade. And we are Raider, Raider Media Lowell, the TV production club. Today we're going to be reading to you Gaston. Gaston. Written by Kelly DiPuccio. And pictures by Christian Robinson. Miss Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Foo Foo, Ooh La La. And Gaston. Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi. Foo foo, ooh la la, and Gaston. Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew, you know, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. Uh, the fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Miss Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good. Well done, very nice. Nice try. They're a tossy yip, never yap. Yip, yip, yip. Rough. Ugh. And they're a tossy walk with grace, never race. Tip toe, tippy toe. Whoa. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies. Fee fee, foo foo, ooh la la. And Gaston. Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother, eager to show off her darlings, she took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was so much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Antoinette. This was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups were sized up by one another. It seems there has been a terrible mistake, Ms. Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. A wee wee. Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide. She replied at last. Gaston! Gaston. And Antoinette. Antoinette were young, but even they could see that they had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston, Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette, Antoinette raced. Gaston, Gaston yep. Antoinette, yeah. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, 
But she didn't like anything proper or precious or pink. Fooey! On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Thick! Antoinette, Antoinette and Gaston were not the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there, waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've uh, made a terrible mistake. She nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee! Oui. Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston, Gaston and Antoinette, Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right. And it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette, Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being rough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, ooh la la, and Gaston, Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston, Gaston and Antoinette, Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. The, the end. end. And thank you for listening to us read Gaston. Gaston. Raider Media Law signing out. Bye. Okay, so there's Gaston. Keep that one in your mind. Tomorrow you'll get to see Not Quite Narwhal, and then you'll make a decision which one of those two you like better, and we'll move on to the next round of March Book Madness. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind, and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we'll have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day, McCullough School.